Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your advice messages for September. And um, I'm going to be pulling a few cards from the Good Tarot to see what messages come out for you. What advice Spirit has for you, what type of healing you you need or what steps to take to you know help you along your path so um okay so the energy florida water <clears throat> Oh. Wow. Okay. That was pretty fast. <laughs> we have the Queen of Water with the Nine of Earth. Oop, sorry. Couldn't see that. Okay, Taurus. I feel that Spirit is asking you to open up more be more open with your emotions be more loving especially for those who work really hard for you or if you are also a hard worker and spirit knows you've been you know putting in the work or maybe you need help putting in the work or motivation to be putting in the work but i feel with the queen of water spirit is asking you to be more loving open up your heart and your soul don't be afraid to communicate or show how much you love somebody with your words. Not only your words, but with your actions. A simple hug or a good morning or cleaning their house or their car, or whatever it is, cooking their favorite meal. Will show that you, you know, show them how much you care, how much you love them. Do not hold in any, any emotions for the sake of being prideful. Or having your ego interfere. Be more loving. Be like the queen of water. Allow it to flow in and out. Be the love that you wish to receive. That's what I heard. Be the love you wish to receive. And with the nine of earth. It's kind of like you see how she's wearing a mask. And then holding on to a rose or a little flower. It's like wishing for brighter days or being grateful for the little things in life too. Either or. And I feel like with the nine of earth, it's kind of like you know you are fulfilled. But there's always that one extra coin that's missing. That's blocking you from feeling super emotional or super happy or bliss you always depend it's like a codependent on having just that one more thing or what if i just had this one last thing or hear from this person or had that car whatever it is that's stopping you from receiving you know expressing your emotions or your gratitude towards people or yourself maybe you've been working hard and you haven't been you know taking it easy on yourself Or maybe you've been acting a little cranky. And that's why Spirit is asking you to be more loving. If you want to go after your dreams and your goals, go and do it. You have what it takes. You can be super abundant. I feel like Spirit's going to give you the opportunity to be abundant. Okay? Okay. Something in regards to money, career, starting a business that's going to give you that emotional fulfillment. And they're going to test you to see how grateful you are. Or if, yeah, they're going to test you to see how grateful you are. Look around you. Are you happy with how your life is? Are you grateful for what you have? The people who love you? The people who work hard with you? Or the ones, you know, if you're solo or single? Are you happy with yourself? 
Are you nurturing yourself like, you know, you would want others to nurture you? Are you, um, maybe Spirit is asking you to be more spoiling towards yourself. But the Nine of Pentacles, feel comfortable. They're going to give you the opportunity to, you know, feel free with your finances. Don't be afraid to spend here and there and then feel guilty afterwards. No. Money is energy. You spend it, you get it. It comes and it goes. Don't let that upset you, worry you, or don't be dependent on that to be happy. That's when the test comes in. And I hope you pass it with flying colors. <laughs> okay, so let's get one uh, card from the Spirit Song Tarot. What does Taurus need to work towards for September? What does Spirit need to work towards? time to start feeling more abundant no matter how your life is okay wow remember how I said start feeling comfortable with spoiling yourself and stuff like that we have the four of acorns which is the four of wands and the traditional tarot that's like the 1111 card comfort and community being comfortable where your life is. This is like spirit is asking you, advising you, telling you to be happy, to be grateful, to be the queen of water. And you will always live in the four of in the four of wands. Being comfortable of how your life is. When you are grateful and you are happy the way things are and you put on that vibration guess what's going to start you know coming towards you like a magnet attracting it attracting more of it in more abundance more love be comfortable and happy with how things are so you can attract more abundance and love into your life. And also act like that towards your neighbors. That's why the community card is there too. Maybe some of you have a certain neighbor that you haven't been, you know, helping out. Maybe they need a helping, you know, a helping hand or a shoulder to cry on. And maybe you haven't been able to deliver. Spirit is asking you to go forth and do that. Because when you do that, they see that you are a loving, kind person. And they that you are willing to help those who have helped you. And Spirit will do the exact same thing. Bless you even more. Loving your neighbors as you love yourself. Okay, so we're going to take um, a card from the Work Your Light Oracle. What advice do you have for Taurus, please? Advice for Taurus for the month of September. It's like creating a home life that's abundant and fulfilling for yourself. So that you are comfortable look around you if, it, if it's dirty if there's you're lacking you know attention towards it change it fix it to feel more relaxed more comfortable your environment will be more pleasing only one flipped over which is star mother Wow, look what it says. Exactly what I told you. How can you mother yourself? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I mean, you can't write this out. <laughs> Look at that. Are you mothering and nurturing yourself? Let's see. Star mother. You are more held than you could possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Lay all of your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like a beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this, and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of earth. Of the earth. How can you mother yourself? Hmm. I feel that some of my cap my some of my Tauruses have been working so hard and it can get very overwhelming and you cry yeah you do cry and I feel like some of you have put, been putting everybody else's needs first before your own it's like you're limiting yourself to to spoil yourself to enjoy yourself it's time for you to start loving and, and mothering yourself spoil yourself be comfortable with doing that. There is nothing wrong with it. No fear in it. Have no fear in it. Okay, so we are going to <clears throat> pull two cards from the Angel Dreams. What message do you have for Taurus? For September. What does Taurus need to know? Yellow. And high council. Ooh, maybe they want me to pull three. Obsidian. Grounding, shielding, and void. High council. Evolution, information, and potential. Yellow. Flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. All right, so let's start with obsidian. Let's see here. Okay. There it is. This card is calling you to shield yourself from disharmonious patterns of anger, guilt, fear, or resentment. These lower energies do not serve you. Obsidian can help place in your home for play, can be placed in your home for grounding and protection. <coughs> Excuse me. Obsidian is a uniquely powerful stone. It is created by the element of air, fire, water, earth, and ether. Ether resonates with the platonic solids and connects you to each element and the patterns of life. Obsidian helps you access that magical place of manifestation called the void. In other words, if you feel there is no hope in your current situation, look again. As this card is telling you not to despair, there is always a way in which you can create something out of the seeming nothingness around you. Additional meanings. It is time to take responsibility for your own healing. Placing this stone in your room will help you fully return to your physical body after dream time. Be gentle with yourself and think only loving thoughts about your body. Okay, that was for this one. Okay, now let's do High Council. Let me take a sip. 
<clears throat> All right, so High Council. Oops. There it is. Evolution, information, and potential. If you have nightly dreams about going to a mountaintop, city hall, or a library, you're connecting with the High Council. This card shows up to help you become the best possible you. The High Council is an alliance of beings from across universes who have come here to help you on your evolutionary journey on this planet. These beings of love and light are trying to get your attention. There is an important project or task you are being asked to take on. The size of the assignment doesn't matter, large or small. It will create a shift for the highest good of all. The High Council is coming to you in dream time to download messages into your energy field for retrieval at a later date. This information is to be used when it is needed for the evolution of you as a human and for the earth as a whole. Additional meanings. You have much potential. You are being encouraged to move forward with your development in all areas of your life. Think about your spiritual perception. Does it need a shift? You are being reminded that the divine mantle is always about your shoulders, lending you strength and help in your daily life. All you need to do is ask. See? Spirit and universe are right there waiting for you to guide you, to help you heal, to lead the way. All you have to do is ask, just like it says. Okay, so, just a second. Okay, yellow. Flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. find the yellow card that would be very lovely <laughs> sometimes they just hide in here and they don't want to be seen sometimes yeah I saw red I saw purple but where's yellow okay spirit help me out here oh thanks okay <laughs> this card asks if you are being flexible in a particular situation it is time to stand in your power and be adaptable to change. Yellow represents the third solar plexus chakra. This color pertains to boundaries, so be sure to define, your, to define yours. It is time to be assertive. Allow yourself to be an individual within a group. Stand up for what you believe. Identify what is important to you with regards to principles and ethics. Discernment needs to come into play at this time. This card could be revealing an imbalance in your third chakra. Feeling highly competitive with someone else is a sign of this imbalance. You may also feel defensive or insecure or have conflicts with others. Additional meanings. A shift is about to occur in a job or relationship. It is time to empower yourself or another. Another uh Thing is you are overthinking this situation okay those are the things you need to work towards okay so and that is great advice too all right so we are going to end it with um, where's my card oh, the love and light oracle cards okay Spirit, what words of love and light do you have for Taurus? Month of September, please. Okay. Gentleness is the path of place. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Psalms 23, 1 through 3. Look how pretty those colors are. Gentleness is the path of peace. Okay, let's see. Here it is. <clears throat> Oops. Gentleness and wisdom are attributes of God and all of God's creations, including you. As a baby, you thrive on gentleness, delighting in snuggles, naps, cooing, and sweetness. You need for these tender qualities. Your need for these tender qualities hasn't changed in adulthood. Mm -mm, we can all get a little bratty and pouty, huh? Even as an adult. That's what you call being, you know, naggy or bitchy. Nowadays, that's what they call it. <laughs> Will you ever call a little baby being a little naggy bitch? <laughs> I'm just saying there is a great strength and wisdom found in gentleness for example tugging at the stalk of a sprouting plant will not make it grow any faster pulling open the petals of a rose doesn't make it bloom sooner instead love and gentle care have far more beneficial results is there a situation in which you find yourself needing to apply gentleness Perhaps you need to stop trying to control the outcome and surrender it to God's hands and timing instead. Praying for peace or meditating for a peaceful resolution to any situation can work wonders. Using force is rare, rarely effective, so instead summon the wisdom to ask God for the perfect gentle solution that will bring blessings. The Lord is my shepherd. Shepherd, I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He let he leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths. Psalms 23, 1 through 3. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, Taurus, with that being said, this was your advice me messages from me, myself, and I and spirit, universe, and God and goddess. So um, I hope this touched you in some way. <laughs> um, you know, opening one soul at a time is my, is my duty. It's my goal. So please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys. I wish you guys all the love and happiness in the world. Thank you for being here with me. God bless you all. Bye.